Dr. Pimple Poppers Puss Loving Fans admitted, You included Go Crazy for Reem's thick, yellow and black goop spouting from her patient's paws. Generally speaking, the bigger the spot, the bigger the applause when it comes to her YouTube videos. Extreme commuters rode every single London bus route in 24 hours but Dr. Sandra Lee's personal favourite clip ISNT about extracting pimples at all. In fact, instead of recoiling in horror, you may actually cry. She told Metro US during filming I can't avoid showing the banter between me and my patients and the conversation I had with this particular patient needed a little background information for the watcher to understand what was going on. Dr. Sandra Lee was squeezing huge blackheads from the face of a gentleman referred to as Pops. And it turns out he had quite a heartbreaking backstory. He had recently lost his wife and was struggling to come to terms with it emotionally. On top of that, had been forced to move into a sheltered accommodation because of financial issues. She continued the second video I posted on Pops really prompted a huge response from my audience and prompted me to spontaneously start a GoFundMe account. The next morning, I woke up in a sweat, worrying that I violated patient doctor confidentiality and that he would be upset at what I had done man nods off while rolling cigarette at festival, then something amazing happens people from all over the world had sent Dr. Pimple Popper letters addressed to Pops, along with donations. More than $6,500 was raised and given to him in this emotional video that'll definitely make you weep unless you were tragically born without a personality. Thankfully, I called him and explained to him and he was only shocked and very flattered by all the love and donations, she explained. Another one of Dr. Sandra Lee's personal favorites is the Mr. Wilson video, and you can see why, it's an orgy of blackheads being squeezed in the most satisfying way. She said Mr. Wilson came in because he had an enlarged nose and so many blackheads. I knew that my re-sculpting his nose and extracting blackhead would NT be paid for by insurance, so I asked him if he would allow me to tape his sessions and I would treat him for free. Man couldn't get an erection after being scratched by a cat lucky for all of us he agreed and am pretty proud of the transformation in him. I would NT have done this otherwise, most likely. If insurance doesn't pay for it, I can't spend three to four hours working on a patient. But now I have an idea I didn't realize how rewarding it would be, emotionally. I'm proud of what this has become. Dr. Sandra Lee added I have many memorable patients I like to say being a dermatologist is like being a glorified hairdresser because you really can develop long-term relationships with your patients, even whole families, who visit you on a regular basis and you begin to learn about their lives and they have an impact on you. It's a wonderful specialty to be in. 1. Sterilize Dr. Sandra Lee stresses the importance of sterilizing the area and making sure the environment around you is clean, as well as your hands and the tools you use too. Open up your pores she said you'll want to make sure you wash your face before with warm water, or better yet, take a steamy shower to really open up the pores. 3. Get a good grip use your fingers of the doctor, pimple popper comedian extractor, as I most often use in my videos, to place pressure on the skin immediately surrounding the white head, to push the contents out. If using fingers, increase traction by wrapping clean tissue paper around the fingers applying pressure. 4. Don't force it a whitehead should come out pretty easily if it is ready, but if the pimple is not popping, there's definitely a time to give up because forcing it and continually pushing and squeezing will only irritate your skin and can cause increased swelling, redness, pain, and certainly increase your risk for local infection and scarring. 5. Apply treatment to finish I would recommend applying a topical corticosteroid, antibiotic and or a topical acne spot treatment that likely contains benzoyl peroxide, like my SLMD acne spot treatment.